he's all doing it. Well, I mean, it's the but. same thing that, that any of us would do. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to ask for coffee because I don't like coffee. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I ask, I'm going to get something I don't like. So, so just don't. Um, yeah. I mean, the idea behind um, Hex and, and where it came from in the design was to teach functional communication for individuals who vocal output was very difficult and they were displaying more challenging behavior. So having something that first of all can be physically prompted, which makes it easier to teach, and a very simple exchange, the idea is that it should be so much easier than anything else. It should be for things that they want. It should be for um, easy things. and. And I agree that people sometimes push it too fast because if you, you got to think about language development in order and how long that takes for kids. So a, a kid with typically developing vocal speech, you know, when, when were your kids first words, you know, like around one ish between nine and one, nine, nine sure, months. And I use chocolate. There you go. <laughs> right, right. You know, so so kids around one usually only have like a couple of words. Um, and then, you know, it's not until they're like 18 months, two years that they're putting together multiple words. And I mean, three and four year olds here in the preschool, we're still prompting full sentences, even from our peer models, you know, like it's not until they're really like, you know, four years into speaking that they're talking in complex sentences. But yet when we have a kid who already has a language delay, hence why we're using PECs, we want to jump from single words to full sentences like in six months. Um, I was watching one of these other videos because I was trying to find videos and so um, watched a couple that other people had made on their own and I didn't decide to show you those because there are people like pulling out a giant book and said, oh, he's been using PECs for like six months and here's all these categories and these pages and I'm like, I mean, that's great if this kid can do that, but are they really <laughs> like and that's where that's where um things like level two get skipped where these kids aren't they don't care they're like okay well yeah if you put your book in front of me uh, if you put the book in front of me i know i'm supposed to pull certain things um but we have to be careful that we are doing it in a developmentally appropriate sequence for that learner and on a timeline that is not trying to move so fast. I mean, we're not asking two-year-olds to, you know, use really complex language. That's not our expectation. So we don't have to move from one words to two words. We don't have to add in the I want sentence strip so fast necessarily, especially if the discrimination between all of those pictures in the book <laughs> um, isn't there and and then yeah the books like they the kids need to like that's their vocabulary they need to know what's in that book they need to be able to identify what's in that book and it needs to be meaningful to them so 